Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Car Addict here. Um, this is somewhat by request, somewhat I've wanted to do it. Um, when I uh, am coming into a corner and I'm downshifting, I got my the inside of the ball of my foot on the edge of the brake pedal, and then I would just rock my foot like so to rev match when I downshift. The brake seems a lot higher than the gas pedal in this car compared to my uh, Accord over there. Maybe with more practice I could get used to this, but I'm used to that, so I wanted to lower my brake pedal. A post came up on Civic X where she actually she actually uh, was talking about she got her foot caught coming up off the gas to the brake, which you can see I haven't even pushed it yet. Look at how much lower my foot is. So it's definitely doable. I mentioned in there about lowering the brake pedal, and then I never did it just because I have other stuff to do, and uh, just today I noticed somebody else asked if anybody's done it. So I just got home and uh, took a peek under there, and at first I saw that switch on the brake pedal. And if you get under there, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, there's like a white clip, and I was thinking, how do you get that thing loose? Because um, I don't want to break it. Uh, it's actually, it turns out to be the easiest to adjust uh, brake switch I've ever dealt with in my life. As far as I know, the only thing you're going to need is a set of needle nose pliers. 12 millimeter. It's up to you how much you want to lower it. However, you can only lower it by the amount of travel you have left in the... Uh, brake switch, which mine is about halfway in between as high as it'll go and as low as it'll go. And you also have a limit on the push rod coming out of the brake booster. Um, there's a little clevis, I'm not even really sure what it's called, but it's like a fork piece that grabs the brake pedal with a pin and then it's threaded and it goes on the uh, rod coming out of the brake booster. So you just tighten that rod. I think my K-Tuner is here. Uh, let's get under there and see what we can do. Hold on, I'm gonna get the mail. Dun 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 I don't know why the hell I'm saying this right now. The wedding song. Oh, this is not at all. Damn it. That is not what I thought it was. So, to get the brake switch out, that brown square is part of the brake pedal switch. So, you'll grab it. Hopefully this is clear enough, and turn it that way, and it unlocks, and it just slides. And when you put it back on, you're gonna slide it to the pedal, which takes a little time because it'll be easier if you're not holding the camera. <laughs> Once you get it to be where the uh, part is actually fully against the pedal, you turn it clockwise. Well, from down below, you turn it counterclockwise. Basically, like you're trying to screw it back in, and it'll lock. Okay, so, first I'm just going to get it out of the way. The clip that it's shining on, you can see a cotter pin through it. First, got to pull that cotter pin. Alright, so I'm going to try to do it with my phone. That way, my flashlight and camera are all in the same, uh, same hand. Wow, this is so much easier. You need to pull this clip right here. And you can see it's actually different than just a cotter pin. You're going to have to take uh, that hooked side and put it out uh, the way my finger's going this way so it'll clear. And if you have needle nose, you should be able to just grab. Like, <laughs> you should be able to just grab it by the... Uh, Try to, okay, see the way it's grabbed. Uh, and then you can pull it out like that. Pull the clip. All right. Now you're going to grab your 12 millimeter wrench. 
and let's see if I can get the camera to show it. That nut back there. Gotta put your wrench on it. If you can find a way to get it on, we'll be able to turn it. And now, looking back there, you want the nut to go towards the firewall. Once it's free, it should turn very easy by hand. So I'm just gonna tighten mine as uh, far as it will go towards the firewall, which actually didn't go a whole lot. You're not gonna get a lot of adjustment out of that. See that gap in there? Unless you really wanna get aggressive and take a uh, whole thing apart and put a thinner nut there, that's as far as you're gonna be able to go. But if you can see that gap between the brake pedal and where the threads are sticking out, you, I mean, you can only go that far too. So really, you're not gonna be able to get a lot of adjustment out of this unless you take the brake pedal and grind some of it off, which it doesn't look very fun to take off. So. I am not going to do that. Yep, not a chance. <laughs> um, of course, there is uh, the option of filing the uh, that bolt down as it's coming through. You can slowly keep tightening a little bit more and then sit here forever with a hand file. Um, or if you have a small enough low-profile Dremel bit, you can get it up in there. Um, and then you gotta think too when the brake travels, if it, obviously the gap will change, but it appears like it will barely. So I'll adjust what I can. And also, if you think about it, from the point it pivots to the point your foot is, that's actually even a little bit closer to the pivot point than halfway. So if you give it an eighth inch there, you should probably have over a quarter inch at the pedal, which isn't a whole lot, but it's definitely something. So now that you got that nut backed up, you push this uh, pin out. Where is it? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Yeah, that's it. And then, <laughs> so yeah, you pull this pin. Now that's definitely greasy, so you want to set it somewhere where you're not going to get a lot of dirt on it, but you're not going to get grease all over your carpet. So I'm going to go set that somewhere outside on a rock. Even with the brake pedal released, you don't have enough room to turn that that way. Grab the pedal. Popped the clip off. I'm gonna make sure when you turn this, uh, I'm gonna call it a clevis. <laughs> I'm almost positive I'm wrong. That just sounds right though. When you're turning that, you gotta make sure the shaft isn't turning. You want this to thread onto it further towards that nut, not uh, not the whole shaft spin. Pull the brake pedal out of the way. I'm using my forearm here. The brake pedal out of the way and tighten this down to that nut. If it ends up being where you want it like this, just put that clip with the flat head or the pin through this side because the head grabs in there. However, once you Get it to where you want, you're gonna have to push the pedal <laughs> into it and make sure 
see if I can see it. Camera. You're gonna have to make sure that the hole lines up because if there's too much thread sticking, let's see if it'll focus. See the pedals and hit that thread. If it hits the thread before the holes line up, you have to screw that clip back out a little bit so it'll reach further onto the brake pedal. All right, I'm gonna look to see if I have the room. I'll just camera right here and maybe, maybe it's the right angle for you to see. And I can't even look, I'm just gonna grab the clip. And I keep saying clip, but I mean pin. Okay, so that's exactly what, so I'm gonna bring it back out one. So I brought it back out one, so that way there's actually still a little bit of play and it actually has to come away from the bolt just a tiny bit for that pin to go through. Okay, now take that jam nut Put it back up against that clevis. Feel free to call me an idiot and tell me what the hell that thing's really called down in the description. Okay, then you wanna, before I crank it, I'm gonna see what it actually looks like, what it feels like. Your foot is not nearly as low against the brake pedal. There's that intake knock and I gotta solve. Okay, so that's actually lower than I want it, so I'm actually gonna bring it back up. Because once you have that vacuum applied, you can really press the brake, that's, that's too low. So, before you crank everything down, put the brake switch back on, do all that crap, I would uh, at least start it up see where the brake goes when the vacuum is applied, and uh, just make sure it's where you're going to want it. Um, I thought I would have wanted it this low. Um, like, I thought I would have wanted it a lot lower than it was. Now you're going to have to go from the back and pop that clip. If you popped in the white clip from this side back down. Take the, the switch. And find out whatever jam way, okay. Find out which way it goes in there. Get it down to the brake pedal. So you can see where it, it's hard to do when I'm watching. Okay, so now it's making contact. The switch is fully depressed. Turn it clockwise. And it locks in. And anything else you remove, like all I did is move this plastic clip out of that bracket to try to get it out of my way a little more. Just double check. You got everything tight that you removed. So actually, I still need to run that jam nut all the way to back of that and then crank it back down I think uh, I back that jam nut all the way against the knurled part on the push rod coming out of the brake booster I had the clevis all the way up against that I think I ended up coming out I think I backed out like two and a half turns from that I really don't remember, but where I want it isn't going to be where you're going to want it anyways. But that is how you can adjust the depth of the brake pedal. My foot is already on the gas pedal. It's much, much easier. Alright, well thanks for watching. Uh, if you can, give me a, a like or a comment, share it, subscribe, uh, anything to help me out. Um, if you, uh, have a request even for
for any little crap like that. Let me know.